This is a quick little video on how to reduce fractions. Notice I've got a whole complete um, question done for you. So you can see then that the, the numbers were added together, the numerators then um, were added here, and then we did the, changing it to mixed fraction here. Now at this stage is when you want to reduce. So from going from here to here is what you call reducing the fraction. So reduce the fraction. And by reducing the fraction, it means find the common factors that are in both of these that will divide out so that you've got the, the most reduced fraction. In other words, you cannot divide out um, fractions beyond that. I mean, there's no factors that are common to them. So, what is common to this and this? The only numbers that can be common to both of those are those numbers that are at least in here. But as instead, what you want to do is have a look at this number and see what numbers can divide into here and into here. Well, you know, the only numbers that can divide into there are these ones. And the rule for if you've only got two factor, or two fractions when you start with, and those are the only two fractions that are in reduced form, then you just have to find those numbers which are common in these um, prime factor phrases. So the only two would be seven, 7 and a 13. And in fact, the 7 squared might even divide into both of these. You know it will divide into this. It might it might divide into that, and the 13 might. It's not that these will for sure be the numbers that you can divide into the numerator, but they're the only ones that have the possibility. So in this case, you can actually divide by a 7, and you can divide by a 13, and only one 7, only one 13. And you divide by 7 and divide by 13. For the numerator, you get that. For the denominator, you get that. Now, if you've got more than just two fractions, what you have to do is check all of these after you add and you put into mixed form. Okay, so these are the only ones that will go in the denominator, so those are the only ones you check for the numerator and see if they happen to divide into it.